this is William Francis at Drone Tech LA, and today we are going to install the HDMI output module on the Phantom 3 Professional. And you can see the remote right here. The back of it does not have HDMI, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to use things like Viewfind, which is that wearable heads-up display. And I just ordered one today, so I will have an updated video for you with the Viewfind module and some testing. From now though, uh, this is how we do it. You get a hex, well it's not a hex, it's actually a star type of screwdriver. And we open up the four, let me get a little closer. So there's four right here. So take these out real quick. Comes right off of here. And I'm going to get real close to the camera. You see all the little ribbon cables on there? So basically there's one, two, three. We just have to remove those. Be really careful because they break easily. But if you're opening this up, you probably already know what you're doing. So those three bears, the bowls of, bowls of oatmeal, I think. Whatever they have, they share. Not too small, not too big. Just right. Okay. Oh, stupid. So, okay, this LED light sucks. Do not buy this brand. It lasts, the Boer one lasts like 15 minutes. It's ridiculous. So now we're going to work with less light, but that's okay still. Now we're just going to bolt it in there. A few screws. And I really can't wait for viewfind. That's the reason why I bought this HDMI module. Because... It is like gonna be really epic because it's gonna be like Google Glass. I really wish that Google Glass came out with a development platform that we could like, you know, use the drone with and then wirelessly use like the motion of the, the Google Glass to be able to do some of the panning features of these drones because it'd be, I mean, it's already built into the controller or the iPad, but that's so basic compared to it being on your head itself because it's be a lot more intuitive. We'll test all this out in a second, though, because it's not going to work at all if you don't do it right, because that's the control, the con board, connection board. And this part goes on here. This is the last step to that process. So before I even bolt that up, I'm going to test out everything, make sure it works. Because if it works, then this bad boy is going to get some power. Brand spanking new. I'm selling this one if anyone wants to buy it because I want the Phantom 4. Even though there's lots of improvements, the Phantom 3 is a really solid device for the money. And um, I'm going to have to move this module again when I get that Phantom 4. Hopefully it's compatible. It looks like the controller is the same. I cannot tell any difference between the Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4 controller. But um, I don't see that it's listed as compatible, so i got to double check that. Aircraft connected. What does that mean? Okay, that's good. Let's see if we got video, because that will tell me if I screwed up anything when I stuck this module in there. And it works. We got a live camera feed. So that's how you. So that's how you upgrade the HDMI module. And right now we're not using it, but we will in a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna test out the HDMI module part. And what you need first off ah, is this connector. It's a micro. So don't, you're going to run home and be like, oh no, I don't have this little mini one. So you need to like get this adapter so you can use regular HDMI. Sorry, it's bouncing because it's on a yoga ball chair. But okay, we're going to test the final part of this HDMI module. We have this plugged into this 40 inch screen right here. And I have the HDMI module in there, so we're just going to turn on the unit and wait for it. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yes. We have a full, yes, it's working. And if you can tell, the quality, when you're looking at this thing, 
It is ridiculous. So that's how you do it. Took me 20 minutes the first time I tried. I hope you can do the same because it will save you some money.